Hi, this is Eric Horn with Game Geek. I'm here with Simon and Todd from Japan Brand looking at Kuon. 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 Yes. It's one of our <coughs> abstract two-player games that we yes. have this year. This is actually a very, very clever one. Uh, there, you, you don't, you're not a color. You are both colors. So both players have five stones uh, of each color, and you just keep setting the stones like this. If the next player places here, now in this situation, if I place here, I will take this stone because I've surrounded it and I will force the other player to place a stone of the other color in the middle. Now okay. if I place here, I'm being stupid, because the other <laughs> player will place here and will force me to place here, which means that he has just won the game. Okay. Because having five, five in, a in a row is winning the game. But there is one other way to win as well. Uh, imagine, uh, because you cannot run out of stones, imagine we have reached uh, this kind of state, so where he has taken a lot of... If I have a red here, and he places a... Uh, uh, yeah. He places a, uh, well, example, like here. Okay. I place uh, a red there, like and you place a blue here. Now you take all these, and I must place three blue here, and I don't have that, so then I done. lose. Okay. It's a very, very clever, small little game that is quite hard to solve, and it is more interesting than Othello and its equivalents. At least I find so. That's Though right. I can't win, I always lose. That's right. <laughs> it's very tight gameplay. Yes, I lost yes. against the designer as well, so. That's right, this has experience. All right, there you go. Overview of Kuan. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.